In terms of AUV technology versus traditional technology, which would be uh, towing a sonar behind a boat, in this deep of water you'd have to have about a five mile cable, the boat would have to be going about a knot and a half. Uh, it would take almost eight hours for the boat just to turn around and then have to line itself up perfectly to do another sonar pass to line itself up with the last line that it did and if you miss then you have to do it again. Very difficult, very time consuming, very expensive. Uh, autonomous underwater vehicles allow you to cover a lot more ground. They move at about three and a half knots versus a knot and a half. Uh, they, turn on a, they turn on a dime. You can program a search grid uh, um, for you know, not, not virtually any size, but in any kind of, any kind of shape. Uh, they can go very close to the bottom so you can get much more precise sonar uh, data. We have a pencil beam sonar on the front uh, so it can actually avoid collisions with underground terrain. It raises up, goes over the bottom. That's very difficult with a towed sonar. So something like we're doing in this kind of geology on the bottom would be next to impossible with, uh, with a towed sonar uh, and very, very difficult. Uh, they're much more efficient to operate, uh, much less expensive. You don't need as large of a ship or as, as complicated of, of machinery. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a better way to do it.